Alright, hey guys, this is African Pro, and um, today I'll be showing you how to set up and um, run a autoclick macro script. So, first of all, you'll want to search up AutoHockey and um, head over to the site. I'll leave it in the link comments below. When you um, run it, it will install just right here and um, setting up your script is pretty simple. Just navigate to the, to the writer, um, it's the black top hat that you're after. Click on record. Um, you can do set up your mouse movements. So um, you could just use this as an example. All right. Click stop when you're done. The sum um, next. But is fairly important. Delete that top section there so that the first line is your mouse clicks. The line beneath it sleep and then 100 is the amount of time taken between each mouse click. Um, it's done in hundredths of seconds so 1000 is uh, one second. If you wanted to, you can, um, if you wanted to like have it on a loop, you could just copy paste it. But for you guys, I'm just going to leave it at this. Save it where you want. and um, just double click it to run. You can see my mouse is doing the exact same path. Um, my hand is off my mouse right now. Yeah, um, that's it. If you want to change the times, because um, that was okay for the test, but uh, depending on what, you can, what you're doing, it can be a little bit fiddly. You can um, change this to two and a half seconds. Maybe I'll um, show you what it will look like with that. But the the nicest thing is that don't forget to save it when you're done editing. The nicest thing is that you can edit it directly. Just right click, edit script, make changes. And then you just double double click it and um, test it out. If you remember at when I was editing the script at the very start, I deleted that portion of text on the top. Um, if you, I just prefer deleting it because it gets rid of a whole bunch of issues regarding windows and um, selection panels and stuff like that. So. What you will need to bear in mind is if you do tab between multiple windows, uh, it would you would have to consider um, doing a spare click somewhere else in that window um, to to get the, the script to actually be working in that window, if that makes sense. So I hope this um this video help helps you guys out a little bit. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.